Absolutely. Did you know Doctor Who uh, was going to cross over with Star Trek if Enterprise had gone on into a uh, a fifth season? Because the reboot of Doctor Who with Christopher Eccleston was just starting and they wanted to cross them over and they were having talks and then Enterprise got canceled and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's cool. Yo, Max. Yeah. Yeah, can I show you? Can I show you the video I've been working on? It's got a few. It's got a few all swear right, words right. and. Oh, so kinda, you me, okay. Right. It's got. It's a. Uh, it's about the the uh, the president's uh, ranking DC movies. No, 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 no. Why? No, 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 no. no that's like that video you showed last night. Yeah, and, but like, and I told you. I, it's got oh my god. Okay, and you can't like uh, pause it or anything. You can't like stop it. All right, boys, today we're going to rank DC movies starting from Man of Steel to now. What's Man of Steel? Joe, it's the movie about Superman and his origin. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that back in 1978, back when I had nice hair and... Fuck's sake, Sleepy Joe, we're talking about the one that came out in 2013. <laughs> oh, whatever, let's start. So where are we thinking of putting Man of Steel? I'd say A tier. I love the way they recaptured Superman's <laughs> story, his Kryptonian heritage. And don't get me started with the fight scenes, like when Superman fights Feora and that other guy, you could feel their strength destroying shit and blowing stuff up. Of course you like seeing small towns blow up Obama, but I will <laughs> Superman's backstory. Henry Cavill embodied Superman so well. Same with Amy Adams as Lois Lane. I mean, my God, I could just... Trump, careful what you say. We don't want to get taken down. I love the part at the oil rig where Henry Cavill is topless and you can see his hairy chest. <laughs> Such an amazing scene. Next is Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice. When I first saw it, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but when they released the ultimate edition, <laughs> then the movie... <laughs> Trump's a Snyder bro confirmed. Yeah. That's a good perspective on how the world sees Superman and if he's needed. Hey, I think the movie is mid. They should have gotten Christian Bale to come back as Batman. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. Hell yeah, Affleck, I roll with Biden. One of the greatest castings ever. I mean, when he was cast, people went nuts online. I agree. His scenes of him as Batman and Bruce Wayne are great. I mean, just watch the warehouse fight. That is the shit right there. I feel like they killed off Superman too early. Kind of like how you killed my presidency too early. <laughs> one thing I like is Wonder Woman. <laughs> Your entrance along is cinema, as the kids say Wait, these days. Pauses. Did you make Wait, this yourself? Yes. Character in the movie. No, you people didn't. So much yes, I did. Out. No, Hold no. On, pause, I pause it. Pause it. Pause it. You made this one yourself because yes. I've seen a lot of these going around. Yeah, but right. I actually am making this one. Yeah. All right. Are you? You're not lying to me. Okay, right Crazy Joe's got to go. Thanks, Crazy. Right. I I gotta go too. This is funny though, so I'm gonna. All right. Thanks, Perp. Later, guys. <laughs> good job, <laughs> Axel. This is really good. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, let's watch the end. Let's put this in A tier. Next, we have Suicide Squad. I'm not going to lie. This movie is kind of forgettable. I mean, Deadshot and Harley Quinn's story are the only interesting things about this movie. Besides that, the villain was terrible. The music is so out of place. And overall, the story was kind of boring. It does have some interesting ideas in it, though. Recruiting bad guys and making them work for you under their will is pretty brutal. Again, why didn't they bring back Heath Ledger to play the Joker? Um, Joe, you do know that Heath Ledger is... This movie sucks. However, there's a director's cut in the WB vault called the air cut waiting to be released. Let's put it in here. Not the worst, but not good. <laughs> Next is Wonder Woman. People consider this film to be the best, but I got to disagree. I mean, Gal Gadot is hot, but the film is kind of overrated. I think this film is really well told, expanding on Wonder Woman's story, and I like how they made it set in World War I. Joe would probably agree. I mean, he was probably about 100 years old during that time. Fuck you, Trump. The chemistry between <laughs> Diana and Steve Trevor is amazing. And when Steve sacrificed himself <laughs> at the end, that really just got to me there. I will say that the final battle with Ares did come out of nowhere. Yeah, the studio probably interfered with that. It was really cool to see a whole island of warrior women. Bill would love to be there since he's been to islands before doing weird shit. So we putting this in A tier? Sure, A tier works for me. I wish they made a proper sequel to this. Next, we have Justice League, or as most people call it, Justice League, because it was reshot by Joss Whedon. Fuck that guy. Joe, that guy may be a weirdo, but we both are anyway. This isn't even up for debate. This movie is straight garbage. <laughs> you ruined Zack Snyder's story, overdoing They're the soundtrack, adding cringe jokes, cutting Cyborg's backstory and that god-awful CGI on Superman's lips, trying to remove his mustache. I thought Flash falling on Wonder Woman's tits was kind of funny. 
Joe, what the hell? Joe, how the hell were you even alive? <laughs> we're putting this in F tier. Agree. Did someone say Speedos? All right. All right. There we go. Can you send me? Can you? I'm going to clip this out now because you made me do okay. that. Okay. Can, can you send me that that image of Trump with the headset on? Because I'm going to put Trump as a Snyder bro confirmed. Yeah. It's okay. The, it's the clip out. <laughs> send me that on Twitter. I'm going to yes. clip it out. Uh, King's Paul, how long is it? Oh, so far it's like four minutes, but I've got to do the other DC movies. Um, I'll put Biden your gonna, on the description of the clip. Out. Yes, Biden is gonna fall asleep. It says he fell asleep to the Batman because he's sleepy. And yeah, Trump is a Snyder bro. Send me, yes. send me that image just of yeah. just of Trump exposed as a Snyder bro. Oh my god, <laughs> that was funny. All right, that was worth it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. Um. 